Welcome back to more days of prayer. Today, we meet Jesus as the Anointed, one of his letter A titles in the Jesus A to Z series of names and titles. Our text will be taken from Acts 10 verse 37 to 38. I will be reading from the New Living Translation. And it says, And you know that God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power. Then Jesus went around doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. Amen. I have a quote from our favourite author, and it's from the book Prophet and Kings. Page 718 reads, Christ, the outshining of the Father's glory, came to the world as its light. He came to represent God to men, and of him it is written that he was anointed with the Holy Ghost and with power and went about doing good. Amen. Psalm 2 verse 2 actually calls Jesus the anointed. He was anointed with the Holy Spirit in a way that no other person has ever been anointed. The Holy Spirit was given without measure to Christ. He received an unlimited measure of the Spirit and it was once for all. That is, the Spirit's fullness never left Christ, not for a moment. See John 1 verse 32 to 33. John the Baptist testified that he saw the Holy Spirit descending like a dove from heaven and resting upon him. He himself quoted what was written about him by the prophet Isaiah, which is found in Luke 4 verse 18 to 19. And it says, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, for he has anointed me to bring good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim that captives will be released, that the blind will see, that the oppressed will be set free, and that the time of the Lord's favour has come. Amen. What a good news. Satan oppressed and is still oppressing people with demons, disease, depression, addictions, and other temptations. And Jesus was anointed to free us all. Are you poor? Are you captive? Are you blind? Or are you oppressed? If you are suffering in any way, the anointed Christ is good news for you because he came for you and today you can be free. In fact, the name Christ, Messiah, means the anointed. In the Bible times, people who were anointed were chosen to support the people. Be it a king, a prophet or a priest, they all served the people. Kings protected and prophets revealed God's will and priests reconciled people with God. And Jesus is king, high priest and prophet to us. Are you sick? Are you stressed? Are you oppressed? Do you need relief of any kind? Why don't you speak to the anointed one? If you are oppressed, he can set you free. And if you are sick, he can heal you. Why don't you develop a solid relationship with him? Are you going to determine to go to him every day to ask for his anointing? He can anoint you to become an agent of anointing too. So you can pass on the anointing. May God bless and anoint you. Amen. Prayer requests. Praise God and thank him for being the anointed one to you, through whom you have received your healing and freedom. Pray for yourself and all people in your sphere of influence that Jesus would be the Lord and master of their lives. Pray for the sick, the food insecure, street children and people who are waiting on God for his intervention. Pray for people who are facing accommodation, financial, employment and family challenges. And pray for 10 people in your life and ask God's blessings upon them. Let us pray. Dear Lord and Heavenly Father, we thank you once again for a beautiful day that you have given us and we thank you for the opportunity to come here and listen to your word. Father, today we got to know about you as the anointed one and we just want to thank you and praise your name that we had the opportunity to have you as the anointed king who will reign in our lives. 
Father, I pray for every individual person that you become the Lord and Master of their lives. I pray for the sick, for anyone who has no food during this time, for, it, for the street children, for people who are waiting for you to intervene in their lives. Father, I know that you're going to do it for them, so I pray that you be there for them and you do not let them lose hope. I pray for any people who are facing any financial problems or have lost their accommodation or maybe even employment or have lost a family member. Father, it is such a difficult time for them, so I pray that you be with them or continue to give them the motivation. I pray for this week for it to be successful for all of us and that you continue to be with us as you always are. Father, we thank you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Show.